Good morning, America. Al Graham for the Coronado Clarion. I've arrived at the most magnificent collection of roses I've ever seen in my entire life. The lady here, I'm going to call her lovely Rita. She's a... What do you call yourself when you're a specialist at roses? There's a name, surely. Uh, I'm a consulting rosarian and I'm a master gardener. A rosarian, a consulting rosarian, and a master gardener. Well, you have to be. Now, the unique thing about this garden is that she uses no pesticides. Correct, Rita? No pesticides, no fungicides. Tell us about the use of pesticides versus... It's very difficult without some kind of fertilizer, right? So, well, you don't use pesticides in order to have a healthy garden because you want the beneficials to help you in the garden. And if you use a pesticide a lot of times, you're killing the beneficials who are there to help you. Uh, so tell me about this rose here. That's Neil Diamond. It's Neil really, Diamond. Really, it's really, really fragrant. Why, did you, why is it named Neil Diamond? That's what the hybridizer named it. Oh, I see. So there's a hybridizer. Yes. And he managed to get that, but the one that really is stunning to me is this one. That's Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo, the great artist. Yes. And you've, have you any other special ones that you really take to your heart? Well, for a little while ago, you talked to me about remembrance. Yes. So you... So there's, yeah, but those are, those roses are inside. But tell me about them. So, um, one of my friends, his, his name was Bob Martin, and he was the president of the American Rose Society. And I knew him well because he asked me to be the editor of Roses and You, which is a national e-newsletter. And when he passed away unexpectedly, he had a garden of 800 roses. And the board, the San Diego Rose Society board, decided that he would like for the members of the society to go to his garden and take their, some of their favorite roses. And so I was fortunate enough to take four of his roses. And they were actually roses that are out of commerce right now. So that, of course that, that makes it even more special. But every time I work in the garden and every time I see those roses, I just, it just brings back memories of him and um, it's just it's just a really happy moment and it makes uh -huh. me stop. It just makes me stop in the day and just... Wonderful. In the Bible, the roses are referred to as the children. I didn't know that. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Well, I'm just so impressed that not only by the beauty, but the way you are so dedicated to them. They're like almost like children. You care for them so gently and carefully well they bring joy and they don't just bring joy to me they bring joy to people that go by sure every day well i'm going to do a quick scan around and see what you have any other special ones you want to tell me about um actually they're all they're all special in their own way i really like the reason i one of the reasons i really love roses i love the fragrance i have a lot of fragrant roses but i also like the fact that they're so so different so there's multi-petal ones and then there's single petal ones and the single petal ones just have the simplicity and the, the pollinators and the bees really, really love them. So, and you know, there's a lot of birds who come to the garden and um, you know, so a lot, of, a lot of insects come to the garden, good insects, you know, and some pest insects, uh, but that's okay. You know, it's, it's, that's how it's supposed to be, that's nature. An old gardener once told me, plant some for you, some for the bugs exactly. and the birds. Exactly, we all got to eat. <laughs> well, this is wonderful. Rita, thank you so much yeah. for taking the time with yeah. me. How do you keep every one of them looking? Because, you know, it's hard. To, you've got to prune them and you've got to... Yes. You've got to, you've got to be watchful. You've got to be attentive. You can't just be an absentee gardener, especially with roses. But at the same time, you're looking at the rose garden right now at its peak. Uh -huh. So this is, this is the peak in San Diego. I remember going to England in May one year to see gardens and I was saw some beautiful gardens, beautiful plants, but the roses weren't in bloom. And then I went in June last year and they were at peak, peak. So you've really, you know, 
the rose garden later on in the summer is not going to look quite as lovely uh, as it is now. In the county of Kent, it is called the Garden of England. It is so yeah. beautiful. Well, there you have it, Rita. Thank you so much. And uh, keep on keeping on. I'm just going to take a quick yeah. scan yeah. around the whole place. Yeah. Thank you. What a nice lady. Just zoom along here, see what we have. A nice interview with that lady. They're all so different, she's right. They've all got a kind of a... Ah, oh, just look at it. Not only roses though, all kinds of other flowers. Marigolds and... Of course, I can't name all of them, but... Even down the alley here, everything is like, it's like an enchanted garden. Well, there you have it. If you see this garden, don't come pick flowers, please. Leave them alone. So lovely. Well, that's a delight. I live a couple of blocks away. I'm going to make this a must every day. I'm going to stop and say hello to them all. Thank you again, Rita. Sure, you're welcome. That's how they Oh, sweet peas. I used to grow these all along the whole backyard. They're so delightful. Thanks, Rita. I've warned everybody not to come and pick them. Just come and look at them. All the bees are look. Oh, it's wonderful, isn't it? That one's called Flower Girl. This one here? Flower Girl, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're look really at fun. that. And it looks like a flower the, girl. Yeah, the bees really love bees open because they love to go to stamens. And that's Lida Rose. Lida Rose. Oh, that's a great song. An old British Lida yeah. Rose. Oh, look at that. What's your favorite, Rita? I think my favorite is Secret, but I don't have one in bloom right now. Secret bloomed a little earlier. What's it look Secret. like? It's pink. I like, I, I'm partial to pink, especially. So I'm looking for a secret rose, right? That's what it's called. Secret, yeah. All right. But you know what? That's, I mean, there's so many, there's so many that I love. Yeah. You're welcome to, to come in. Oh, I can? Oh, see. thanks so much. I didn't want to intrude, but look at that. I'm going to go inside now. i keep it rolling because it's such a delight just to see it. Look at this, good heavens. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Man, this is like a dream. The enchanted garden. I love those little pink baby ones. Oh, they're so beautiful. Look at this. Wow. So she is a rosarian. That's what they call. Got me hat stuck on one. Oh, there we are. Look at that. And plus, she gave me these little sweet peas on top of it. Wow. Look at that. I mean, there's not a thing out of place. Oh. There's this little fountain area. Oh. Wow. You could meditate here. Look at it. The white ones. The pink ones. Oh, dear God. The rose ones. Mm. 
I'm inching around if you don't, if you want wondering why I'm jittering because I don't want to be smashing into anything. It's a nice little dry fountain of flowers. Look at that. Daisies. hang out here all day. The fragrance is beyond belief. And a lemon tree, look. A lemon bush. It's going to be a tree. Yeah, what a dedication, huh? This takes patience beyond... Oh, look at that. How beautiful. All different shapes roses are. Not like, you know, one kind or many different species. I didn't know any of that. I used to grow one when I had thousand oaks, I had a dozen of them. And one was a Bob Hope, a beautiful red rose. So, but I'm gonna be looking for the secret rose. It's a pink one, she says it's her favorite. And I'm, uh, just enamored. The patience it takes to do this, believe me. Someone said the patience of Job, someone once said. Look at that one, the purple rose of Cairo. I'll just name them as I go. So if you come by this garden, do not pluck flowers, please. The lady might give you one if you ask, but I wouldn't ask her even. Let's leave them alone. For everybody, it's like when you cut a flower down, <clears throat> it's like, look at that. Oh dear. Well, that's my little tour of Rita's uh, rose garden. I'm going to call it Rita's Secret Garden because it's not just roses. Thank you once again, Rita. Thanks for the. <clears throat> a resurgence of memories I have when I think of the people that have passed who also loved roses, so they kind of like a, a living memorial. God bless you, Rita. Thank you very much. Al Graham for the Coronado Clarion, one of the longest videos I've ever done because I could go on and on and on. 